Spring has brought new beginnings to Northwest Dogwood Street in Cedar Mill. The Opal, an affordable apartment community for seniors, now sits on land donated by their neighbor, Christ United Methodist Church. The church had it on their heart to gear this place towards seniors in the LGBTQ community. They teamed up with Home First Development Partners to make it happen. It's pretty special and pretty uh, unique way to show your support for your neighbor. Ben Prey is CEO of Home First Development, which builds affordable housing all over Oregon. Funding for the Opal came in large part from Metro's affordable housing bond. We know there's a lot of folks excited to live here. The Opal has 54 units and they're nice. Small things like gooseneck faucet and um, undermount sinks. Half the apartments will be offered to seniors considered extremely low income who earn 30 percent or less of the area median income. Their rent $5.99 a month for a one-bedroom and $7.62 for a two-bedroom. The other half will be offered to those earning 60% or less of the AMI for around $1,200 a month. For perspective, average rent for a one-bedroom apartment in Cedar Mill is around $1,800 a month. And affordable housing for seniors? It's slim picking. I've looked for other places, a couple down in Beaverton, like a three-year waiting list. Barbara Anderson dropped by to fill out an application for the Opal. She heard about it from a friend. He's part of the LGBTQ community, and he called me, and he knows I was looking for a place. And um, I'm not LGBTQ, I'm just old. <laughs> no, so he thought it was great. He thought it would be wonderful. So I said, oh, I'll come. I love you, so I love everybody else too. I mean, it doesn't matter, you know. That desire to be an ally is what partners behind the Opal are hoping for here. We're just breaking it in. You know, this is new for all of us. Maya Chamberlain is executive director of Friendly House. The nonprofit will have an on-site office here, offering resident services through its Elder Pride program. Consistently, this cohort is saying that housing as they age is their number one concern. They're concerned about having to go back into the closet. They're concerned about being discriminated against in their housing communities. Those in this housing community will get welcome bags and quilts. Every one of these was handmade by members of the church next door. A final welcome gift to their future neighbors.